I want to see everyone's happy faces again. Welcome me back home. Is that what it looks like? Yeah, someone actually made a Sonic VHS animation based on the Below the Depths FNF mod. This is going to be incredible, isn't it? But at the same time, yeah, it's probably gonna be super depressing and super sad. I honestly don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> Sink ponders the circumstances he found himself in. Days, months, years. This hedgehog has remained in the uncharted areas of the Lavrim Zone, forever hoping someone will save him from his watery prison. So yeah, you guys told me all up about this one as you do. And of course, I had to check it out. I absolutely loved the Below the Depths FNF mod with uh, this new Sonic.exe type character called Sync, I believe, where he's not actually necessarily bad. It's kind of weird. It's a Sonic.exe character who's not really bad. He's just met like this unfortunate fate and well, he's been stuck forever below the depths of uh, part of this Labyrinth Zone thing here. What act is it? I'm not entirely sure, but he's been here. Like the description said, days, months, years, yada, yada. And again, this wasn't before the FNF mod. This was made after the FNF mod. This is all inspired by the Below the Depths mod uh, that we played not too long ago. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely check it out. I'll leave a card and link in the description down below. But let's shut up and get into this here because based on the little I'm seeing right now, this looks incredible. But again, it's probably going to be very sad. Hey, this music right now. Look at the animation. It's so good. How long? Okay, I'm guessing this is Sync speaking right now. How long has it been? Since I've fallen down into this aquatic hell. That's crazy. I honestly don't want to know anymore. The waves just blow in like that. I can barely remember how I came to be here. Dang. All I remember is that I was going through South Island. Imagine if this was a thing in Sonic 1. Saving my friends from someone. Who was it? What was their name again? Imagine this was a route you could get. It's all just a blurry memory for, for me now. The Labyrinth Zone. I knew the dangers that lied ahead, knowing I had to face my fears. That's crazy. Despite my best attempts to avoid the water, there came a point where I had no choice. It happens, man. I promised myself that I'd make it through. Save my friends in South Island. I'm pretty sure in Labyrinth Zone you have to go in the water. He ain't lying. I held my breath, dove in, and started traversing the haze of the maze of stone and rock. The air bubbles I came across here is what got me through the axe, giving me enough oxygen to make it to the surface and take a few moments to rest before having to dive back in. Woo! It was, it was going well. Too well, it seems. I had nearly made it out when... We're actually going to get the lore here. It happened all at once. This is still far made again. This is made after the mod. It's inspired by it, but this is a cool take. As I was making my way across the many underwater cre uh, crevices... On one of the chains that held that... Okay, we need to... Okay, sorry. We, the writing's going quite quick here. We need to go back. As I was making my way across the many underwater crevices, my leg got cool. Okay, I apologize, guys. This is going a little quick. On one of the chains that held the many spike balls together, it instantly clamped onto me as the floor gave way. Yeah, the writing's a little quick here. At least for me. I'm, I'm a bit slow. Despite my frantic struggling, it was hopeless, and I watched with horror... As I sunk, plummeting further and further down, the pressure rising as the light from the surface faded away as... See, it's very quick, as did my hopes of escaping. Again, I apologize for having to go back. When I hit the bottom, the spike ball had wedged itself onto the floor below. But that was the least of my horrors. My oxygen was running deathly thin. So in a panic, I looked around for any air bubbles that feeling. It's weird that he's still alive though. Maybe he is dead. He's in some kind of pur purgatory, some kind of weird limbo. Again, some kind of hell. After a few moments of looking around, seeing nothing but stone, a horrifying, horroring realization dawned. One that I couldn't even imagine could be felt. There were no air bubbles. Why? Way. I started to panic. I started to thrash about. Vainly hoping that by some miracle the chains would break. That miracle never came. I feel so bad. Soon I began to began to choke. My lungs 
my lungs beginning to feel. That is crazy, man. Oh, the way it's described, with the seemingly endless amount of water around me, my vision began to fade. And what was left of my strength were washed away. That shouldn't have been the that should have been the end of that. And the end that should have been the end of that and the end of me. But it wasn't! A feeling began to grow inside me. I just can't put it into words. But in those moments I had remembered the promise I made to everyone. That's what's kept them going, I think. That promise. I felt some of my strength returning as memories flashed before me. Dang. Then I woke up. So his determination is keeping him alive, not in Green Hill. But right here, in this same spot. Dang. At first, I thought it was a miracle coming back from death like that. It's kind of like in the actual game. But I came to quickly realize that it's more of a dang curse instead. It's kind of like the game when you die, you got lives right, and you restart at the beginning. I can still throw everything, but instead, here, he didn't start at the beginning. The water around me, the dang chain of my leg. Yeah, he ran me restarted here. It's like, and the never ending pain of drowning over and over. It's like he got a checkpoint here. It's really weird. If I ever do make it out to the, make it out to the surface again, what will even happen to me? Will I die? Will I even be able to walk or run? Heck, would there even be an island left to save? All these thoughts, they scare me. They scare me so much. I'm like scared for you, man. I just want to be back on Green Hill in the warm sun, feeling the wind as I run. I want to see everyone's happy faces again. Welcome me back home. I want to feel happiness again. I want to feel free. He said he's been here for years. I just want to get out. So they may not even be there. That's kind of the sad part about it too. I just want to get out. There's more and more sad realizations as you think about it, you know? I just want to get out. It gets even more sad. Hold up. I just want to get out. Wait. I just want to get out. I just want to get out. I just want to get out. Oh, that drowning thing. No, no, no. This ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. Is he going to be gone? Is he actually going to be gone now? Whoa! What? What the heck? What the heck? Okay. Sonic, man, I just wish I could dive in and save you. I'll be free someday. I just know it. I won't give up. But yeah, a lot of you guys told me I just have to keep waiting. Because it is based around Sonic 1, technically there's no Tails, Knuckles, Amy, anything like that. So he really doesn't have any close friends for him to rely on, you know? He's all alone. He literally is all alone. <laughs> So I also wanted to quickly check out this one here. This is another take on Sync.exe, another VHS kind of thing. Sonic the Hedgehog Labyrinth Zone Act 3, Sonic Sync by Roan and. So yeah, Labyrinth Zone Act 3. I think this is going to be more gameplay style, yep. We actually see what happened before. He was casually going through Labyrinth Zone Act 3 here. So now we know the act. Even though, again, it's all fan-made, it's all their kind of interpretation. But still. Basing it off of that, it was Act 3 you got stuck in, I guess. Sure thing. Hey, what? He just... What? What? Illegal instruction. So he hit an enemy and suddenly this happened? Like, the game messed up? I don't want to be here. I thought we might have might have seen him actually get his leg stuck or something. I am cold. But no, the game glitches out. Oh, okay. I am wet. Water is wet. Fun fact, by the way. I'm starving. I kind of recognize this music right now, but I don't know. I swear I've heard it from other VHS t kind of stuff. I'm alone. It's popular amongst the analog horror crew. Is that what he looks like? Why does he look like that? If there is someone out there, what happened to him? Whoa. Whoa. Oh God, look, there's a random eyeball. Because of course, analog horror and realistic eyeballs. It's a package. There he is. There he is. I guess before he got stuck, he was just in, like, the depths of the water. 
goodness me, that was weird. That was like really weird. What the heck? Still cool though. Uh, a different take for sure compared to the first one we watched. We all danced in fire. Looking through the screen. I know we've played this before, but it works so well to show this off during the video. Here is the actual FNF mod to do with sync below the depths. Let's check out here. Again, it's a great mod. Why not? And for those who haven't seen our video on it, we're going to check it out here. You can still check out our original video because we do check out other amazing Sonic and Sonic.exe mods in it. So I'll leave the links in the description cards on the screen. Hey, but now we've got like more context and whatnot. It makes it more and more sad. Like those sand, uh, those fan versions. I don't know why I said sans. <laughs> those fan versions, man. They really added to this, they really did. That first one was just something else. Let me know which one you like more, the first animation, the first VHS thing, or the second one. Oh, you see at the back, like, him struggling internally? Something like that. It could have been him when he first got cool. Like, his first initial struggle. Like, maybe some kind of flashback? I'm not entirely sure. His animations are so fantastic. Like the blood pouring out from the pressure being that deep in the water. That's insane. I'm surprised his eyeballs haven't popped out. It's pretty wild, eh? Him at the back? Oh, man. I just want to cry for you, man. I do. Look at that, man. That's crazy. It's weird how there's moments of him just sort of giving up and then moments of him trying again, you know? I guess it's just taking a break from, from the struggle. And the way it just goes silent like that. You can see why people love it, man. You can see why people love it. Absolutely amazing stuff.